y'all it's Brittany so welcome back to my channel uh if you are new here thank you for stopping by please consider subscribing before you leave and shout out to my returning subscribers so this is my first vlog since like November so today is Monday February 7th nothing is going on I have not been uploading that much because from December 15th through about I guess like the end of January, I was on a break. And then I'm kind of still kind of slowly getting into the year because I am i don't feel very inspired with wigs, especially synthetic wigs. I've been wearing my RPG show wig and I love that wig, but I haven't been really inspired by what's out right now with synthetic wigs. It's kind of boring. And I just, you know, January and February suck to me. I think it's so depressing. Like, yeah, I don't know if I like winter anymore. I just feel like December is like everything. And then it just, January and February just kind of suck to me. Um, it just can be depressing because you yeah, had just, it's always cold and there's nothing to look forward to really. So uh, that's how I feel. Um, I just got boosted on saturday so i've been feeling like under the weather because that's what happens with the vaccinations so this is my third one and my arm is kind of swollen right there so today i don't plan on doing any videos or content i'm just cleaning my brushes and just preparing my space and stuff um i just feel like i probably will get my legs and everything with my channel probably in the next come in the coming weeks but right now i'm just kind of uninspired and not really excited about anything so um yeah but i just recently bought two my first wigs human hair wigs and they were pretty expensive i usually don't buy my my human hair wigs because i'm a wig channel and you know companies send me those but i love my first wig so much that i invested my own money in it in those wigs and they were about 400 each um, but they had a Valentine's Day sale, so they did have a discount. So I bought two wigs, and I'm excited about them because the RPG Show wig that I have is amazing. It looks so bomb in every lighting situation, and it's very easy to apply. So I'm leaning more towards, like, investing in high-quality wigs and not so many wigs that are just kind of like, okay. So that's what I have going on today. I guess this will be a week in the life video. Don't look at my shirt. It's just... It's actually a dress, but it's like dusty and gross. But that's what I have going on right now. So Coda's back there asleep on my couch right there. It was just his birthday. Hope you guys are doing well. Talk to me in the comments. Tell me how you're doing. How is 2022 treating you so far? So far, I'm just kind of like, ooh, I don't know. I'm just ready for spring. I'm using this Cinema Secrets Makeup Brush Cleaner. I think by now I'm going to mention this in like my favorite beauty products video, but I have to have this on hand from here on out because I can clean all of my dirty brushes in a snap. So these are all dirty, obviously. Um, highly recommend this. I'll put this in the description box for you guys. It should be in my Amazon storefront. Definitely watch my beauty favorites that I put up. The one about skincare, part one, and then the beauty products and everything in part two. This is a must right here. Hey y'all, so this is the first synthetic wig I'm recording of 2022. Uh, I haven't been feeling synthetic wigs and by the time you guys see this vlog, I'll say that in the in the review, but this one is actually really pretty and different from what I typically wear. So I am still feel like I'm in a funk, really, I really do, but I'm going to keep like recording and stuff. Yeah, but I look cute today. This looks really pretty on me, guys. Yeah, so I'm going to finish up this review and then I don't know what I'm doing after this. I do have a premiere tonight at 7.15, but it's only like 2.30 right now. All right, so today is February 21st. I just got out of a Zoom call with a nutritionist. I have been like on a wellness journey, not just like, you know, weight loss and everything, but with my natural hair as well. And then like mentally, I'm going to therapy. I've been going to therapy for the last, you know, six years, but a lot more consistently in the last 
in the last three years. So going to therapy, I have a hairstylist now because I've never, I usually don't ever go to hairstylists like on a consistent basis, but I'm trying to go consistently every month with this natural hairstylist because a lot of hairstylists I've gone to, they don't really tell you what to do when you get home. So I like this hairstylist because she she gave me a, a like a healthy game plan for my hair because it's very like dry and it's it's become a lot thinner over the last few years. So I got my hair cut in January and I've been taking care of it on my own. And she just told me about like my hair's porosity and everything like that and products to use on it. So I've been doing that for about a month and we'll see where we are this time next year. And I've been documenting the process for you guys. And then I'm excited about, um, you know, the, the wellness weight loss journey as well. Um, I've been inspired by a lot of the ladies I see on TikTok. And I've been inspired by Alyssa Ashley. Um, some lady tried to come for her because she does fitness content instead of makeup content. Somebody tried to come for her on Twitter. It was so dumb. So dumb and unnecessary. But um, I think what she's doing is amazing. And I think people should stop expecting influencers to do the same thing forever. Like, I still do wig reviews because I still love it. And I'm pretty passionate about hair still. But it probably won't always be this way. So I started my YouTube channel when I was 22. I'm going to be 32 this year. So um, you can't expect people to like the same things for years and years. So I feel like this, you got to expect people to evolve. And I think it's dope when your audience can evolve with you. So I love Alyssa's content about fitness and just wellness and stuff. And she seems really happy. So um, she's somebody that's really inspired me. I'm very intimidated with like weightlifting and stuff like that. But my goal this time is to be fit and not skinny. Because I feel like I've been skinny before. But I would love to be fit. Because it's a difference between just being skinny and then being toned and fit. I just think that looks really good. So, um... I'm working on that because I've been doing some at-home workouts with Grow With Joe on here. I found her through TikTok because this lady did like a um, like a weight loss transformation, weight loss transformation by watching her her um, at-home workouts um, or doing the at-home workouts. So I've been doing hers. I work out every other day. I would like to incorporate weightlifting because I see how that can change your physique and I really like that there's that and then I'm working on the nutrition part right now so for the last two weeks I've been getting meals sent to me by factor it's not sponsored but factor is great for me because one of the things that um kind of pushes me off balance when it comes to eating and then I just end up binging is convenience I'm I'm big on convenience in everything. I like to have my doctors and dentists very close to my house so I don't have to travel too long and stuff. And that applies to eating as well. So um, with Factor, everything is pre-portioned and everything is, I think it's like dietitian approved. So a lot of the meals are under like 600 calories and everything. So I feel like it's just so convenient for me and you just heat up everything for about two two and a half minutes and then you have something to eat for you know lunch or dinner and they have some breakfast options as well so i have enjoyed factor um and i think i'll continue to to use that service um for the eight meals my total every week is about 89 dollars, and they do give me discounts because i'm starting to keep i'm starting to come back like every week so they do have some weeks where my stuff is discounted um, and I feel like $89 is pretty reasonable because with DoorDash, I've DoorDash some meals, like maybe three meals in a week and it was more than $89. So I think that's great. And it's a easy option for me to eat healthier. Of course, you can do like local 
um, meal prep services and stuff like that. But that is where I'm, I'm at right now. I don't really like talking about weight loss and stuff like that because sometimes it gives people the impression that they can talk about your weight and it's annoying. Like I did this haul the other day on my channel. No, I did the Amazon haul last month and this lady, like I'm not even talking about my weight at all in the video. I just say that I'm plus size, which I am. And she just starts talking about my weight and I'm just like, no. And I know people, there are some people that are like, um, if you put yourself out there, you gotta be ready for comments. You have to be ready for me to respond to it. And you have to be ready for me to set boundaries. Like I'm not one of those people that shares every last detail of my life. Um, and I like to set boundaries. So if I don't like something, I don't feel like it's me being unprofessional by checking somebody. So right now I'm about to record some content because in February I didn't have, I didn't have any, did I have any sponsor videos in February? I don't even think I did. I'm really still just easing into the year. Did I have any sponsor videos for February? I just didn't take on anything. No, no. But in, in March, it's, I have like 10 sponsored videos coming up. So I'll be prepared for it. And in March will be my ninth year as a YouTuber. So that's going to be special. And I do have, you know, a giveaway coming up for that. Yeah. So that's where we are right now. Um, and I got a new phone because the phone that I had, I had the iPhone, what did I have? iPhone 11 and I got that in 2020, but I only had like 64 gigs of space on there. And I'm starting to record a lot of content on my phone because of TikTok and stuff like that. It's so convenient. So I needed a lot more space. So I got the iPhone 13 and I got a lot more space on there so I can record content without having to stop and stuff. And I'm enjoying my Canon 90D. Um, I watched some videos on how to set the, uh, to do the settings and everything. Anything you wanna learn, you just watch YouTube because it is gonna help you. So that is where we are right now. And I'm excited because I just feel like I'm gonna stick to the things that, I like the goals that I have set for myself mentally, I feel like I'm gonna achieve them. It just feels different this year and we're going to make it happen. So I don't know, this vlog, vlog is going to just be me talking a lot because I, I really have not been going out that much. I went to Target for the first time in forever with my sister this past weekend, but I don't really do anything, guys. Like with my vlogs, it is very basic because I'm pretty much in the house most of the time. Most of the time. So that's where we are. Good morning, y'all. It is February 22nd, and I just got my nails done. They are super cute. I am kind of over like fall, winter nails, so I got like a bright abstract set. Um, and now I'm gonna go get my nose pierced again. I've got my nose pierced three times. I got my septum, and then I got both nostrils pierced at different times. But now I think I'm gonna go get like um, a hole in each nostril and I'm gonna get my septum ring changed out because I can't change my ring out myself. Like, I don't know how people do that. I just keep mine in and then have the place where I get my nose pierced do it for me. So that's what I'm gonna do. And then um, pick up some lunch and just head home. And this week that I am, um, this particular week, I think I'm only gonna have two videos up. Like I'm always in the, the mind frame of historically to put up three to four videos a week, but lately I just, I'm not doing that for February. Definitely I didn't do that for, you know, January because I was still on break for most of the month. Um, but in February, I'm just gonna finish it out with just like two videos and then probably go back to three uploads in March, so. That's where I am today. My face is glowing. We are glowing. So I'm just excited to be out the house because I'm always in the house. So we're gonna go get our nose pierced 
and I wanted to get my second hose repierced because I got it repierced. I got it pierced one time, like my second hose, and they had it like too close to the first hose. So I don't know if that's like way too many piercings to do in one day, but I know for sure I'm getting my nose pierced because I've been wanting it forever. Um, and my sister got me a gift card for my birthday in 2021, and I just never used it because of COVID. But I should be okay. I mean, I'm boosted, and hopefully they have like a good, you know, COVID protocol at this Pearson place that I go to. So, and I should be the first person there. So we'll see. Okay, so I just left getting my nose pierced. Got oh, I don't want to cuss on camera. That shit, <laughs> that shit hurt. Ooh. Oh my. Mm. She did it so fast, like it was nothing though. But it's cute. Yes. Oh Lord, that hurt, but it's all right. <laughs> See, that's the difference between piercings and tattoos. Like piercings, it hurts that one time, but tattoos, it hurts for hours and hours. So now it just, oof. Oh, that hurt. Mm. Good Lord, my eyes are still watering. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Lord, that hurt. <laughs> and this is my, like, fifth time getting a nose piercing. Good God, that hurt. But I'm about to go to Target and return some, um, some shoes because they're too narrow. And then I'm picking up some food for me and Adrian, and then I'm going home. Ooh, child. And I thought I was going to get my second holes pierced today, too. That's too much pain in one day. So. Hey, guys. So today is February 27th. Um, it's my daddy's 50th third birthday so we're going to my parents house to eat and celebrate you want me on camera here's adrian here we haven't vlogged in a while like i'm for january well december and january i was doing mini vlogs on um tiktok because i started being more active on tiktok in december just at the end of december like december 22nd and I was very consistent and now I'm at 3,000 followers already so you can grow pretty quickly on there so if you're a new content creator definitely get on TikTok because I feel like Instagram is hard to grow on so is YouTube of course YouTube is probably the best because it's like monetizable and stuff like that um, but Instagram is monetizable too with uh, reels because they're doing like beta testing so I don't have it on my I fancy cupcakes but I'm in the beta testing for um, hearts in a plan which is my follow my smaller Instagram page for planning and I make reels on there and I make a little bit of money I mean very little it's like a hundred and fifty dollars but you can make up to like 800 if you make a lot of reels but I don't on there I probably make one or two a week on that page hundred and fifty dollars but that's cool because for a long time there was no monetization and stuff for Instagram unless you did sponsorships. So, is that for a week or is that like a month? Yeah, it's a month. Yeah, so I made $160 for January. That's not a lot at all, but I was making planner content for nothing. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, that's cool. I wish they would have did it for my I Fancy Cupcakes because I get a lot of views on there and I would have easily made the max for me which is $800 it's gonna change per person I'm sure so um yeah I think that's pretty cool I've been more active on TikTok and um putting my stuff up on Instagram reels I just feel like Instagram reels perform better than still pictures and I still love still pictures but you know you gotta grow and evolve with the times with your content which is frustrating because it's frustrating but you got to do that as a content creator and I've just gotten kind of in a flow of how to edit my stuff and everything you just got to study the different platforms especially TikTok study what the girls are doing and just make it your own so yeah that's what I got going on there's Coda back there 
by the way, like I did my makeup really quickly today because we have to be at my parents' house at three o'clock. And I start getting ready at like two at 115. So I was like, I, I'm not wearing lashes. So I just have on mascara and just did my base and my brows and lips. And I think my makeup looks really good. And the wig I'm wearing is Butter Lace 16. I decided not to like lay it down because it's raining today and it's just easy to put on a head wrap. This head wrap is from You Go Natural. Yeah. That's what we got going on. So I'll probably pull out the camera again um, when we get to my parents' house. So we at my parents' house. That's my grandma right there. That's my sister. There's my mama. There's my daddy. The birthday guy. Adrian and Coda. I see. Y'all look cute. Y'all need Coda in the middle. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> no, that ain't happening. Cold my ass on me. What ball look? Oh, you no. got it. Happy oh, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Look at that dog. Look at that dog break out. Sing it, Cold. What you gonna do, Sing. Grandma? I did that. Come here, man. <laughs> look how they look. He is cute. Oh, he matched know. me and Ashley. There you go, big Both boy. Both in the too. Oh, this will be a great opportunity for a aunt selfie. Good job. <laughs> Good job, no. Soda. Come here. <laughs> Ashley's scared of Coda. It's it? okay, though. That's it. Thank you. Sean, what you scared Good of? Good job. There you go. Get it. Get it. Good job. I got Good it. job. <laughs> It's the cake my mama made for my daddy for his birthday. It's a strawberry cake, obviously. Not now. Here's my daddy in front of his cake. My daddy, oh, 53. Just pulled up to the house. And his girlfriend are here. So that's my brother, Corey. Coda likes Corey. Oh, look at that. Oh. <laughs> he don't do hugs, he do kisses. <laughs> I don't play that. Now you got to go wash your face. You want to see Brittany? Yeah, we got to hold you back, buddy. No, sir. Thank you. The kids. Boat, boat. You took a look at now. Don't feel like getting out. I'm going to just lay back and crack this window. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear daddy. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Hey, y'all. Good morning. So it is about 10 o'clock in the morning, and I'm, I just took a shower. I'm about to go get my toes done. Um, and then I think I'm going to Walmart and then I'm going to come back, probably chill a little bit and start to like wash clothes and like prep for filming day. Because I really only have like one day, one or two days this week I'm filming. So yeah, that's what we got going on. So February was interesting. I'm just kind of still like easing into the year figuring out what i want to do and just consider like considering the landscape of everything and like pivoting with my content if i need to because i feel like it's like a a shift like i think people will always like wig reviews but i feel like i don't know i just feel like something is different and i just have to make sure i'm prepared for changes you know so 
I am gonna wear Butter Lace 16 again, but I'm not fooling with no lace. So I'm just putting her on and going. Actually, it's not that bad. If this is shaking, I have it propped up on something. But I was going to sell Butter Lace 16. I am not anymore. I like her. And this is in a 1B. I'm a number two girl because it's usually a, a less harsh of a black. But I like the 1B. And this will be fire with a red lip. Yes, I'm going to keep this one. So yesterday I had, I wore this. You go natural pre-tied turban. Today, I think I'm gonna wear this one, this green one. It's a monochromatic situation going on here with my olive green and then my green glasses. And I need to put on some sunscreen. Like, even though it's it's still pretty cold here in South Carolina, some days it's not, some days it is. But today it's cold. So I'm going to use the Shiseido Clear Sunscreen Stick, which is 50 plus SPF. It's for face and body. So this is what that looks like. I got this from Sephora during one of the sales. It's a recommendation I got from... Um, Mena Adubia. So I'm just going to put it on my face because when we dropped off Coda, I felt like the sun was beaming on me and I was like, I don't have any protection on my skin. And I, I just ordered a lot of like sandals from Walmart. I got some from Target, but I have wide feet and I had to return like three pairs of like the, I don't know, like six or eight that I bought. And I'm putting it on the back of my hands as well because you can use it on the, your body. I'm not getting my nail, my, I already got my nails done. It's just, I usually get my nails and my toes done on the same day, but it takes too long. I cannot stand sitting in nail shops for a long time. So I gotta get my nails and toes done on the different day. And I don't, I'm not going to the same place to get my toes done that I do for my nails. So, yeah. Cortisone cream on my hands. I hope you guys are doing well, staying sane and uh, protecting yourselves. All right, I'll talk to you guys probably when I go to Walmart. All right, so I made it out of the nail salon. Got my toes painted a bright pink. And now I'm going into Walmart to get like deodorant and stuff. But I wanted to look at their spring stuff and just look around. Because I really haven't been to Walmart since probably uh, late November, early December when I was Christmas shopping. Because I usually do most of my shopping online. But um, I had some time today. So I want to see what Walmart has. So let's go inside. Give it a good. I put that on good when they Okay, I've never heard of this concealer, but I'm interested. It is lightweight, full coverage, and a natural matte finish. Uh, I'm not really sure, because I have a tendency to getting my concealers way too light for me. I'm interested in 30. This one here. We'll see. Okay, I've been wanting to try this. It's a dupe for the Milk Hydro Grip Primer, so I'm gonna pick that up. And I low-key need some new, um, ooh, that one's good. I think I'm gonna get that. Need some new gloves. Okay, I'm in the fitness part. I'm just looking for some smaller dumbbells because I got eight pounds and it's hard for me to do certain exercises, so I'm getting some smaller ones too. Okay, I'm in the decor section. That's nice. I like that texture and that color. And of course, I like that yellow. Okay, it's 
some workout tank tops here. I don't see an extra large. Okay, I got a similar pair of these last year. I think I'm gonna get some more because mine are neon, the ones that I bought last year. These are super cute. I just decided to get two. I didn't want to go crazy because I already bought a lot of sandals. So just want to get those two. All right, y'all. So it is 7.05. So I'm going to end the vlog here. I am editing my Tuesday video the night before. So that was the end of the February vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it's been a while. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends and family. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.